The final race of the day is the Pre Royal Oak. It's a Group One. Oh, three rounds and upwards. It's over a mile and seven and a half foot or so. Just about two miles. And Blushing Bear is at the top for John Morgan. Hills Patchy for Dan Hughes. Go forth, my son Joshua Sutherland. Lady Macbeth, Leon Van Rensburg. El Paso Jewel for Vinnie Gerard. Riot Attack, Leon Van Rensburg. Devilish Gelding, Darren Thompson. El Paso Morant, Vinnie Gerard. Puppet Path, Dan Hughes. And So Alive, Craig Beckwith. We've got the silks issue again, but it's only going to affect Dan Hughes, I think, today. And this one. And away they go. And go forth. My son is the one who's going to go off into the lead. I would think devilish gelding pulling for its head. And then so alive. And blushing bear on the outside. But it's go forth. My son who's gone forth and his five legs clear. Quite happy to bowl along in the lead. The rest of them seemingly happy to let him continue to do that. The lead is being extended, if anything. Oh, so alive is just about second. The grey El Paso Jewel is third. Blushing Bear on the outside. And then after that one, looks like a riot act. Back marker is El Paso Morant. Go forth, my son will lead them past the stand. circuit of the track to go on day two of this multinational week where we seem to be near there and everywhere over the last couple of days goodness knows where we're going tomorrow all over the shop I don't no doubt go forth my son is in the lead El Paso Jewel in second Hills Patchy and so alive I presume we've got more Breeders Cup races tomorrow. Let's hope we get some better ones than we got today, or better fields anyway. And go forth, my son is in the lead. He's gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, really, today. With very, very small fields to start with, and then huge fields later on. And that just goes to show the imbalance of the, of the imbalance of the schedule, the imbalance of the handicap. I'm not sure which it is, maybe a bit of both. But go forth, my son who's in the lead. And El Paso Jewel and El Paso Morant. Vinnie Gerard's horses have moved up into second and third. And Blushing Bear is after that one with Devilish Gelding and Riot Act. Hills Patchy. Lady Macbeth is the back marker at this point. Go forth, my son is in the lead. And El Paso Morant second. Uh, Devilish Gelding third. Five furlongs still to go. Shop, I think so. Don't forget, we've got that false potential false finish that you can maybe see in the distance. The totalized board miles in front of the two screens. It can look like the race is nearly over when it isn't. And go forth, my son is in the lead from El Paso Morant and El Paso Jewel. And right attacked up the center of the track. Devilish Gelder is trying to get into it. Pop its path is also trying to get into it as well. The only one really out of it I would say is Hills Patchy, although Lady Macbeth has got work to do. There's two furlongs to go then now and it's still go forward my son in the lead from El Paso Jewel and Riot right Act. Then El Paso Morant, Devilish Gelding, Blushing Bear still in there as well as they come down towards the final furlong in there. And it's go forth my son in the lead. El Paso Jewel is getting a bit closer so to his right at Blushing Bear. He's making ground on the outside but is he making it quick enough? I don't think he is and go forth Jewel is going to hold on I think go forth my son holds on to take it. From Blushing Bear and El Paso Jewel and right at. And him it's a post. Again, I've seen that so many times this season. Go forth, my son. The latest horse to win without being headed. Takes the final race of day two. Just one more day to go tomorrow, and then last week, last week, next week. Four more days left. Go forth, my son, in front for Joshua Sutherland. Blushing Bear for John Morgan was second. El Paso, Jordan, Gerard, third. Right attack, Melbourne, Redsburg, fourth, and devilish gelding for Darren Thompson was fifth.